Welcome to our tutorial about consulting Special Collections materials at USC. In this tutorial, we will provide you with an overview of our reading room guidelines and procedures, and what you should know before your visit to our reading room. Materials in Special Collections do not circulate. If you would like to see and study a rare book, archival collection, or artifact in person in Special Collections, you will need to request it using our Specialized Research Collections request system. We have created a separate tutorial on how to request materials from Special Collections. Please check it out. Once you have requested materials to view in our Special Collections reading room and received an email from us that those materials are on hold for you, you may come to our reference desk, which is located in Doheny Memorial Library, room 209. No appointments are necessary, but please make sure to check the hours our reading room is open on our website, as hours may vary. Arriving at our reading room. When you arrive at the Special Collections Reference Desk, please let the staff person on duty know that you have materials on hold. You will need to provide your USC ID or a valid photo ID on your first visit. They will provide a locker key to you and ask you to store all personal items in the locker. The only items you may bring into the reading room are a laptop or tablet, no sleeve, a pencil, and your phone, sound off. You may not bring food or drink, a pen, or papers like a notebook, notepaper, etc. Should you need paper and or a pencil to take notes, we will be happy to provide those to you. These measures are to protect materials from damage and theft, not to deter you from visiting and enjoying special collections. Handling Special Collections Materials When handling materials in Special Collections, it is important to remember to wash your hands before touching any materials. Also remember that materials in Special Collections are considered rare, old, fragile, and often unique and valuable. So please be gentle when handling items and move slowly when turning pages or perusing files. You will also be provided with a foam cradle as a support if working with a rare book. Good general rules for handling a rare book is to carefully flip through it one page at a time and only open the book part ways. You never want to force a book open as the spine could break. When lifting a book, use both hands to support the spine and covers. When you are unsure about handling our materials, a special collection staff member is always close by and available to help you. Don't be afraid to ask. In the reading room, you will be asked to only consult one item at a time. This means either one rare book or one folder from an archival box at a time. If you work with archival collections, the box of archival materials will be placed on a small trolley next to your desk and you will be handed a placeholder. This way, you can conveniently take one folder at a time out of the box and, using the placeholder, return it safely to the place it came from in the box. This way, the organization of the folders in the box remains intact for future researchers. Many people think that they will be required to wear gloves when working with materials in special collections. At USC, we only ask patrons to wear gloves, which we will provide if you are working with certain items, such as photographs or metal objects. In all other cases, clean hands and careful handling are sufficient. Photography. If you would like to take photos of the materials you are consulting, please ask the staff on duty if this is permitted. A few of our collections are restricted and may not be photographed. If you plan to take photos, make sure to do so without flash, as the flash can harm the materials. Please also note that any photographs you take can only be used for personal research purposes. If you would like high quality photographs or scans of materials, you will need to submit a photo duplication request through our Specialized Research Collections Request System. Don't be afraid to ask the staff member on duty for more information on this process or check out our other tutorial on the topic. Thank you for watching this tutorial. We hope you feel well prepared for your visit to the Special Collections Reading Room. If you have any questions or need research assistance, do reach out to us by email at specol at usc.edu. For more information on how to search, request, access, and analyze primary source materials at USC, please check out our other tutorials. Thank you.